All right, this is Latin, and we are back with Software Inks, Beta 1 Play and Learn series. Today, we're going to do a special short on character creation, setting up your one, two, three, and four founders for impossible, hard, and medium difficulties. We'll get into it after the intro. Okay, welcome back. Impossible Gaming. We're going to start from the end and bring it to the beginning. With Impossible Difficulty, setting up your founders. We're going to found, start with your founder number one. Al first. He's going to be your first founder. And what we're going to do is a little differently than what we've done in the past. We're gonna incorporate the lead skills. It's the big difference. So here we go. Personality, generous optimist. I always use generous optimist. You could change these here in case you didn't know. I've never had any reason to do so. Generous optimist makes so much sense to me for a lead, for a person. So here we go. Big brain because we want the extra programming skills because we are playing an impossible difficulty and we're limited. Next is I have a watch, which is what we used in the past for the leader and the founder and the freak. Difference goes into here. We're going into assist. We're going to go into skills first. Okay, difference is here in skills. We've given him a little least skills, just a little. Programming, design, and art, we have not touched. So we push service all the way back. It pushed everything forward. And then we push lead a little back just to give him a little lead. If you make him leader, he will basically pick up lead skills right away because we've also given him the stars. Three stars in socialization. I want him to start holding meetings right away. Hiring and complaints, we're going to take care of anyway in the beginning. And education will take care in the beginning. So there's no leave for any of these stars in the beginning of the game. And not for the way I play. Like I said before, this is the way I play. I want to get rid of the this normals out there. The Latin is saying this is the way to play the game. I never said this is the way to play the game. I've always said this is the way I play the game. Learn the mechanics. Develop your own skills ways to play it okay it's basically impossible is no loans 1980 impossible no mods and we're not going to go past character setup today this is just a character setup video okay so we covered his and services like always law that doesn't change we don't need that for anything okay alice she has big brain super focus knee freak Leadership skills, she's got automation and socialization. Service skills, she's got three in two in, in law for social skills. And in development, she's got for design skills, three system, three 2D, and three audio. For programming, she's got two in 2D. For art, she's got two in 2D. She's a visionary, in-game focus, private office, royalties, IP ownership, and she also has a little bit of leadership skills, programming, design, and art, and zero service. Third person in the group, E-Man first. Okay, E-Man has big brain, super focus, and knee freak. He's going to concentrate on art. He's the artist in the groups. I think super focus is great for artists, so that's why I use it. He's got leadership skills, programming, design, and art. Zero for service, no skill levels for service. For stars, specialization in development, he's got two in systems, two in 2D. For programming, he's got two in system, two in 2D. For art, he's got two 
in 2D and 2 in audio. For leadership, automation, socialization. With those little bit of lead skills and you make him a leader early on, he will develop his lead skills. He will be able to do PM doc. So we have two people that are able to produce a PM doc. Okay, service is lower. Same as always. Fourth person and last person in the team is Mark Grimm. Big brain, born leader, neat freak. We're giving him three stars in socialization, one star in HR. He is going to be our leader. And I want him to start holding meetings. In reference to handling complaints, education, and hiring, he doesn't need that in the beginning. As the leader of the team, he will develop those in place. Development. He does have a big brain, but he has extra points. Extra points are in system design, three stars. In 2D design, three stars. And in audio design, three stars. The programming skills are in system three stars and in 2D one star. And the artist skills are two stars in 2D. That rounds up our people. The reason I made him a leader and the reason I gave him socialization skills was because holding meetings gives you a boost. We make him a leader, give him his own office, we'll get a 25 to 35 percent boost or efficiency for the team. Plus, if he holds meetings, he will also get an efficiency boost. So Mr. Trim is going to be our leader. Number one founder is our first, and they're all gonna get 25% of the company. Shares of the company will be divided 25% among them. Starting year will be 1980, and we're in impossible difficulty. So, Let's go to hard difficulty, and in order to do that, we're gonna get rid of Mr. Trim. Hard difficulty, we're gonna play three founders, and we're gonna set them up on hard difficulty. So what does that mean? That means we have artists added stars. So, starting with service. Service? So we get an extra star for law. Leadership. So we get automation and multitasking. And we are in hard mode. For development, you will get full development skills in design. And in order to do that, we need to push programming back just a tad. Nope. Okay, there's another way to do this. We're going to have to take her away her visionary skills. She is big brain. Nothing here is going to change for any of them. The personality and their traits will remain the same. The only thing is skill levels, and their specialization styles will change. So we're going to start with her again. Go to easy, go back to hard. That resets everything. We're going to push this back. He's going to have leadership skills, and then we're going to push programming back on each. And she'll get all her stars in design, and then that's the way she's going to run. He will go full stars in system, 2D, audio, and hardware. Three in each. He's got two left. And like I said before, with 3D and networking, you will get another six stars, three for you, so we don't have to worry about that. Okay, for leadership skills, we set her up already. Automation, socialization, and multitasking. And this leadership, we could push it back just a little more. And hopefully that did not change the development, did it? No. Okay. She doesn't need that much leadership skills. And she doesn't need service skills at all. So in hard, you could get rid of her service skills and everything else comes up. That's perfect. And hopefully nothing else changed. Service. Service. So let's go back to our lead who's lost everything here. So Alice going to retain his personality and his traits. Over there, skill levels are going to remain the same. Well, they came up because he's in, he's basically we're on hard now. And leadership skills, he's going to get all here full starts for HR, full starts for socialization and multitasking. And for law, he's going to be a lawyer, full fledged lawyer. Who knew? Okay, so that takes care, Mr. 
first. And last but not least, E-Man, which wanted to be an artist at hand, he will basically retain his art. For design system, he has three. For design 2D, he has three. For design audio, he has one. For programming system, he has three. For programming 2D, he has three. And for programming audio, he has one. He will get an additional two stars in socialization and one in multitasking. And he will also become a full-fledged lawyer. So service is what we really don't need, and we've proven that time and time again. So that's it. Three, three guys, three setups. Now what happens if Mr. E-Man decides to leave and we just don't have anybody else? Also, well, then we're back to Al. And we go to easy, and then we go to medium. Everything gets reset. And what does that do that increases all the stars? What's going to happen is when we go from hard to medium, your skill levels are increased. No changes to your stars. We're not changing personalities. We're not changing anything else. That's just going to be easier to do whatever we do the way we do it because we're good at it. And we have larger skill sets and medium difficulty. So my suggestion, anybody starting a new game, medium difficulty is the way to go. Follow these steps in setting up your character. You'll be way ahead of the rest. That's it. Any questions, concerns, anything comes up, and if anybody has any traits or personalities for design, program, or art that they think are better than my choices, I'm open to looking at them, testing them, and proving you're right. We're going to leave it there, folks. If you have gotten this far in the video, I appreciate you for watching. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the shares. Please like, share, and subscribe for more videos as it does help me and the channel to keep growing. A special thanks to all my subscribers. I do appreciate you. Stay safe. Keep those around you safe. Latin out.